We'll call the meeting to order at six o'clock. First on the agenda, are there any changes or additions to answer? Okay. <clears throat> Next, approve the minutes. The minutes of October 5th, 2020. Make a motion to approve them. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? So passed. Community concerns. Do we have any community concerns tonight? Oh, happy staff. All right, we'll move into new business. Number one, discuss speed limits on gravel roads. Um, this is a giant discussion you know, between PD and having started. A lot of our gravel roads are unposted, which makes them 50 mile an hour. That's some concern from residents out there. So we thought we'd approach the flight board about just coming up with something. A one kit, 35 mile an hour, speed limit on all gravel surfaces. Um, yeah. Please say, Richard. Well, basically, uh, you can set the speed down 35 on the ground, so the water needs to be surveyed or studied or studied. Yeah. More than the authority to set the speed on the ground, so it's mm -hmm. pretty easy just to set them all. So, as we can just find the order, there's a lot of science. Thanks for that. Right. So it's certainly not an unusual thing to do. Yeah. Well, I think that's what it is. I mean, there's highway crews that look at it and they're set to do something. Then we get a phone call from somebody complaining about the speed, which yeah. not that the speed on the sign is going to necessarily stop somebody from driving fast, but it, it does give the speed easy to work with. And it's, you know, most spread routes are they're good for us, but by the same time, it's so much of a great spot for you on the problem on the city out there. So mm -hmm. it just makes constant thing. I mean, the highway crews are not going to get up all the time for that ball at once. But, you know, from our perspective, it does make sense to, to lower it all to 35. Unless you have some more regular accidents. Right. So, yeah, leave back 30. Yeah. You wouldn't bump them up. Right. Well, the, for any that are not posted, it's blanket. For the ones that are already posted. Yeah. Comments from the board? Eric? Which ones are third? Ranger Road. Third. I knew that. That's the only one. That That's I for you. Have. That's for you. I actually do 28 because it fits the ball to run. I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. I do. I think it's just all my life now. <laughs> yeah. Graham, how are you? Uh, there's a section at Wall Road that's got a 25. A paved section on the road. I was wondering what it seems to What? I don't know what the. I think it's mostly because of the residential area. The nature of it is 25 out to the bridge by the whole Nova intersection. Wow. And then the pavement has its own just for not pretty far. They're not sure they're off for it. Skip washers, just not skip washers. I think the 25 zone looks like it has a bridge, but I don't know. That's a good idea. Yeah, you know, just search for them because there's residences that are so close to the road. If you farm a house there, the across the street, there's three or four houses that are right next to the road and certainly get closer to the water. Right? I think that was what the idea was. Yeah. 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 And then it was probably going to fall. I didn't do that anyway. But it's done at some point. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
for the ease. I mean, it's to be all the best, but if we get them all 35 across the board, and food freight road, 35 is that much out of the realm of safe along crazy road, it was pretty much a straight shot from the last one. But well, then you're going to go crazy, right? Yeah, it's on your diet, we're at 33. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> Not when you're walking on them. We knock and walk and <laughs> <laughs> You knew that was coming to you. <laughs> <laughs> what Judy's saying is safe for the pedestrians when you're going by at 35 yeah. or 50. I, I would, I'd like to see that. Yeah. A lot of people drive their horses and ride their bikes and about walking on their roads. Frazier Road is the only road that's a 30? I don't know. No, Alfred Mountain Road. Alfred Mountain Road. Our section on both ends is a 30. That's right, though. It's good to be in the train because it's not bullshit. Once you're 35, there's no more. If you bring it up, I know. It's some silence. You bring it up, it changes like that. My suggestion would be to do 35 on all that road. And then it goes along those roads. One second consideration or something lower. Mm -hmm. I just want to see the more for that. Okay. I don't think it's a long down the road. That's a straight shot. Straight road, same thing. Like that. I don't think either one is going to be more dangerous for a classroom at 30. I don't think it's going to be easier. Information, education, and public is going to be great on the road in one year. It's going to be fun. I don't think it's easier to administer it. Everything is the same. I, I agree. I, I think it's going to be easier for people because then they're going to be wondering whether they are or they aren't. If it's 35 on all of them, uh, easier for the thief. And like you said, the Elmore Mountain Road, part of it's at 35. So if we bring that one up to 35 too, I think the whole road. And I think 35 is blowing off the noise. Because they're not going to do it in the north. But the lower Elmer Mountain Road is but it might, it might slow some people down. Lower Elmer Mountain Road actually is slow down. Yeah. Yeah. Lower Elmer Mountain Road. Yeah, but that this section of dirt past yeah. Carroll Cross is still 35. I'm fine with that. I think that's a smart way to go to make all the gravel roads. Can they say, Judy? Certainly. Easy. Universal. So what's your process? Um, you make a motion and then go from there? Or you if, it, if they make a motion, 35 on all ground surface roads, and we'll just, we we'll won't have to take the adjustments to the organ. So clean it up as we go. And it goes all 35. Yeah. And then close the you know, document. And yeah. we'll do the whole house process and change that motion. Right. And update the signs as you can. Yeah. yeah. Right. So we'll come back with you on updated affordance. Yeah. Well, you can stop the ordinance and ask post it and wait in 30 days before it comes back to the end of that. If you want a motion to vote, yeah. Not if it's going to be one tonight. Let's get the other one. That way we can go through and make sure we have everything that is 30 that we're missing that needs to be, then um, we can change the only, that. The only outlier on it is. Um, East High Street, where it turns gravel at a little I don't know if you want to think about that or not. I just can't think of what that is. It's our better time to want somebody. A to B Street, too, right? A to B Street, that's pretty quick. Yeah, so I need to know how to find the home. Right. The line is not there. That was pretty short. Yeah. I get up to 35 years. So we just want to make sure we think about some of the outliers out there that may be like that, that we don't want to mm -hmm. right. yeah. you know, just you know, get the 35, because those are definitely ones that you don't want. To right, the Ward Road, the new engineer, Carpentier Road. Yeah, that's in both hand areas. You know, quite a few guys, though. I don't know what that is. Um, there's like 35 already. Mm -hmm. 25. Down lower on Cottage Street, it is, I think. Uh, I don't know about it. Yeah, just make sure we, you know, just so we can go through the Ward Pond Road is one I'm thinking of. That's probably about 35. Yeah. We don't have any outliers out there that, you know, that we're not just going to yeah. come back through that way. We're not coming back later. Let's make sure we have the ordinance back. We're not coming back later. And I always make sure we have the ordinance back. Yeah, make sure we got it all covered before we come back to it. Yeah. What do you
do you think, Jason and Kurt? Any comment to that? Yeah. Think it's okay. Right. They're at least they're posted that way. Right. Right. Okay. So we don't need to make any action tonight. Yeah. Sounds good. All right, number two, approve hire for part-time police officer and administrative assistant. Um, Bruce? Yes. As you, when COVID started, we lost our administrative assistant that we hired, Carol and basically just going up from that. But in the meantime, we had had the engineer all of our previous long-term administrative assistant came out of retirement. And the Morgan Simpson, but she made it very clear that she did not want to go into the retirement. So we did, we located Bruce Jefferson. So uh, he's a great to do the administrative system work, and today I'm very proud of him and the team in our city. In the meantime, he would also fill in as a co Volunteer roster. Corey. I have 15 of them on the beach for <laughs> Quite a list. We can do it all all together if you want, but I just can do it all together. The only exception is we're not retired. Yeah. So we're part of the service basic and we can push it and get back on my roster. They're actually going to have either demanding the job or resign without five. Regarding this, 
So moved. Okay. Second. <clears throat> Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion's passed. Next, discuss the HRA renewal. Um, every year, I mean, this time of year, um, we look at what the, the rate increases are for health insurance plans, and then we look at you know, the health of the HRA and where it's at. We've been trying to keep up with what the HRA pays for as far as the out of pocket expenses every year, just how long it costs. And I want to say it, it's really not an impact to the town budget at all. Mm -hmm. um, and for the very few people that max out on their HRA annually, it's a big impact for them. I think it's here yet three, maybe four. Yeah, there, there's a couple anyway that are all maxed so. out. Just one of those things that really, it, it, it doesn't really impact anything that we do. It's big help those people that, that you know, max out their HRA. It's, it's just one of those things about being able to do that. All right, do we want to do these three motions separately? Yeah, these are this is just the HRA. Just the HRA. Okay. I make a motion that we renew the 2021 HRA with levels of nine four hundred dollars for two person, adult plus children and family plan, and forty two hundred dollars for single plan. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Is this affect anyone negatively? No. All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is passed. Next, approve the 21-22 pay compensation plan. Um, every year we've gone back and adjusted our, our pay compensation plan for the new um, mm -hmm. and for Social Security. Um, that will be for all of the other things we do out there. So this is an increase that will take effect, uh, cost of an increase that will take effect July 1st of 2021. I will we approve the proposed compensation pay plan for fiscal year 2021 slash 2022 as presented and authorized by the sign. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is passed. Next, old business. Discuss Beamer's Group C. Um, at that time, we thought we could pick and choose um, who would be able to go on Group C. We were wrong, and I don't think it was explained to us well that we talked with people at Beamers. Um, but the reality is, we would have done that. People that were currently in the board of Beamers would have been able to pick what they wanted to do. But any new hires would have to go on Group C. And that's not what we intended to do. So we, once we figured that out, we got back to the you know, people. Um, and we were going to ask you to send that motion with the language that we need is there. Um, we're going to come back to you probably next September and adjust some of the employees, but it just wasn't explained to us well. It's not what well, we understood what happened. We want to be able to give everybody a choice. You know, whether they're a new liar or current employee or whatever, it's, you know, it's across the age spectrum that we have here. But not everybody is going to want to be in group C. Um, right. Someone else on wall. But it's not the, the outcome that we want. It. Beamers is going to let us consider that, and then we'll have to go back and fix that. And so and we can't fix it this year, September, with the cutoff date for group and stuff. So you just already have it for next year. Yeah. Sounds good. So that's the third motion. As we did not understand, I'm told I have to read this verbatim as we push it through the Beamer. Right? As we did not understand the English statutes, I move to rescind the offering Beamer's Percy plan to all employees except full time highway superintendent positions, full time town administrator positions, and full time planning director positions. Employee, employees eligible for Beamer's Group C will not be eligible for Beamer's Group C. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is passed. Next, do we have any liquor control tonight? No. We move to approve warrants. I make a motion to approve warrants. 
Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is passed. I work for you right along tonight. Here for it. Just to me, I'm the same Plays out. Okay. So, I, I was always helpful that this would be done before I retired. So, 
How about this? You can't retire until it's done. We've got to be moving top soil in the spring. Yeah. We don't have an option for out of sand after this year. Okay. All right. Any questions for Dan? Thanks, Dan. Select board concerns. Judy. Um, I was wondering about the solar panels on 100. I saw they put some bushes in there and the burn was like minimal. I thought it was going to be a little more uh, visibility. Being on the sketch, it looked like a lot more of a the trees, bushy hedge. The trees and stuff that we hidden. Right. Just right there. Yeah, there's so I'm, the Charlie Brown trees on the berm, and that's about it. The bushes are going to be about two feet high, I think, when they're mature. Yeah. And um, I was wondering. Randolph, weren't they going to do a final code on Randolph? Oh, so they have to come back and do a final code on them? I thought the company doesn't make We were going to do a final code out there. Right. But then the whole schedule got changed. So that's still going to happen at some point? At some point, we should. Okay. Next year from May. Right. Thank you. We'll be, you'll be ready to tell us next year. I have someone being in my area. Yeah, I, me too. <laughs> I've had discussions with Dan and Kevin about paving specifically because when we ran into a, a town meeting a question and then a, a motion to add to the budget so it work. And I, I speak for myself, I won't speak for the two of them, but I, I think they would, uh, would nod their heads a little bit. But it's probably going to be in our best interest to begin to identify the roads for paving a year in advance. Yeah. Kevin and his guys need that time in order to help it replace some of the rails that come up. Uh, and it would also just serve, serve to be able to build a town meeting and come to Off of that, up, we would have a format for which we're doing things to identify the roads based on the need. So, you know, this is what's coming up. And, and uh, that way it saves. Well, hey, I think a lot of hurting. Well, it gives you time for planning. I was thinking a yeah. three year capital paving plan where we know where Kevin can know what's coming in 2024, 2025. Yep. And nothing rigid, rigid, but I mean, it's just be beneficial for yeah. all folks here. Uh, we need to offer some high guys to have that set up a little more firm and in the spring year to pick and choose where we're going to go. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah, good idea. Okay. 
and we're asking for a seven day cure. Let me see next Friday, next first of November before we start back home. I'm not the plaza drive that they have Saturday. Yeah. They did a nice job. Really? Yeah. Well, so yeah. They had to get given by the base and they put stuff in it. Yeah. Nice shot. Yeah. I'm looking forward to the rest of it. Yeah. Okay, and I had a couple things. One was, I kind of was wondering about a sign for the village garage. You know, we talked about it a little bit. It'd be nice to have one. And, and what you said, Judy, maybe an open house or invite the public to look at it. Um, the other thing I wondered about was uh, the timeline on doing Munson Avenue and Harold Street for paving. Um, no, I don't think it's about that paving. We already said paving is 27, 28, and 29. You can Right. Yeah, it was helpful. Dan got a hold of me when they were going to do Northgate because I told people yeah. over there, and it was helpful. Yeah. Right. Same with Munson and Harold would be helpful. Well, one thing I'm sure, um, lots of it. And I talked to the Turtle Fork guys too, so and Marvin. Yeah, it's better than that. A lot. They should be notified as well. Yeah. Some of them are Yeah. I think the North Gate really popped in my mind because I know you guys. Yeah. Have all the time. Yeah. But I let the other guys know too. So. All right. All right. Well, once we get a good day, we'll get up there and know Okay. Yeah. Good. Wheels yeah, building also. All right. We have a trailer for at least a couple every day. Yeah. Wheels exactly. building. Okay. Yeah. We've been having 12 to 15 containers every day. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. Okay, Bob, we got to share between the last one. Okay. Sounds good. Next, other business. Do we have any other business from anyone? Grant? I talked to one of the others. Just a question. I saw that you guys were discussing opening up Old Road and most city areas. You know, side by side, you know, ACB traffic. Um, is, there, is that discussion happening yet? Is that no, we, we that was one of the roads that was thrown around because um, there was a, a question about uh, having access from Johnson, like over French Hill, over to Morrisville and Morristown. And, um, you know, we haven't decided anything. We just, that was one of the roads that was proposed. and. Nothing's been pr proposed formally. It's just uh, things we've talked about and, you know, it, it has gotten mentioned and tons of people have called and contacted us, but we're not going to do anything until next season. And um, probably it's going to take a lot of planning and a lot, a lot before that happens. So there will be a time when uh, everyone gets to be heard about it. And you can be notified too as well. Yeah, no, I, I was in New Hampshire a couple of weeks ago in, in Maryland town. It was great for you know certain aspects of it, but it definitely all kind of took over everything. And I just you know wanted to know where things stood and where people were, what the thoughts were on it. You know, residents may or may not like that extra traffic. Right. We we learned that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're learning that. If you know, if you're great on one hand for you know local stuff, but you don't want to become a, 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 a destination where you have. You know, I think we'd be remiss and not at least examine the possibility of it because of the revenue that we generate for our downtown, get some of our OI stores, restaurants, like that, and how it's easy to find it. One of the things, I have a very lengthy discussion with everyone from my city that's been a lot of concern for the traffic up there. Yeah, I think it's going to get examined as to where trailheads come in. They don't want to be on the roads anymore than you want to go on the roads. So, uh, that's going to get examined very uh, agreed to lay down piece from the board and do a little bit of fun. So we've got a road in the road to the town, the village, which one makes sense as well. And then come back to the board with a proposal at that point. That's when the test going to happen. But that, and really, if we don't take a look at it, as much as the sport is growing, as much as it's brought to Newport, last Friday, see a kind of story that Newport is. You know, really, I, I, they had mental complaints to the police department. Um, 
you know, and it was a, a huge problem for the business district. And, but the one week after we bought up on bears on the temper uh, their what we call it a experiment trial, yeah. dirty line on the bears a week later. And we came all the way up to Cal Palace and I was there. I, I'm not a big fan of just free draining all our roads open. Uh, I think that can identify certain features that probably help trail to trail. I think uh, we really need to look at it for the economic boost based on what's happened in our world. Well, it could be substantial. <laughs> this, 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 there was a farm, a farm that was basically using, I can't remember the name of the town. Was Gorham? Yeah, it might have been. Mm-hmm. Like that Gorham. I mean, a lot of money coming, but there's definitely negative externalities associated with that. And it, and it, Currently allowing uh, ATVs to use Silver Ridge Road to come up to Max, and they can trailhead out of the Sunset parking lot, mm-hmm. and um, kind of seeing how that goes. And but they express the, the need to have more avenues into town and, and to get around, not necessarily open it all up, but to get resources. That's like right. having Harley's in the town, you know, and that's a, a big bunch of noise, but it brings a lot of money. Yeah. Well, Gary reminded me that. You know, snowmobiles took a long, long time to get really established, 50 years, yeah. and uh, ATVs are just getting going, really. Yeah, same thing, right? That's 20 years in, and yeah. How was the operation, probably? Yeah. Yeah, these are just a few of the people that we have heard from without having a meeting yet. Right. So I give people your number. <laughs> well, that's all right. <laughs> so there's a lot that are very poor, and there's probably a lot that are very you better if you have your phone, you don't have to answer it. <laughs> no, uh, no, anybody that's got any concerns would be more than to talk to them. Well, one thing, too, is I talked to a few of them, and they don't want to ride on the road. That's not what they're talking about. They want to come out onto the road to get to the trail down to it. And so it's not riding up and down the road. To get from right. And I guess locating where those trails are, and that traffic's going to be right. the people right. too. Right. Certainly. Yeah. I've got yeah, me too. Yeah. Well, it's like when you come up to Ridge Road and you want to go to House of Pizza, but you can't. Right. And your vehicle, personal vehicle is in Eden. Right. And you park in Sunset and walk over to House of Pizza with your helmet or whatever, you know. Right. Or call somebody to go get it. Right. Max doesn't have like the elevator. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 And also, he's a barrier going to the shell like Brian said, big tires make noise. They don't want them big tires on a blacktop. Right. Them are soft rubber tires, they mm-hmm. cost some money and they're going to wear. Just like you and my wife, I take their roads, but I prefer paint. Right. You know, I don't have a dirt bus, but I can go on dirt bus. Just like these guys. You're going to slow down now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm fussy. I don't like going to the dirt road. Sometimes I have to. Yeah. I don't do that money. I don't do it. Right. But I know that if I would be in the soft rubber company now, with a bunch of snow tires, they don't last long. Right. I did see a police ATV as well that was there too. In Gorham on the side yeah. of the street. Yeah. 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 Right. Well, I mean, for you, Gary, 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 Eric, it's your cue. Uh, I move that the uh, Attorney General of Public Knowledge of Real Estate, which is the least last in the third place in town, is a substantial disadvantage by the people. Second. Thank you. Corey. 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 No, I think we figured it out. I think. Yeah. Well, I think I did. And then I asked him up there. Yeah. We should be doing that. The rescue. Well, we got it.
Yeah, I, I think we just have to put it out. Okay. We don't. That's what's about.